So guys, welcome back. Again, we come up with the new topic that is the vertical circular motion. In this part, we are going to see that how we can tackle the problem when the bob or when a body is moving in a vertical plane or when it is moving along a circular path. So guys, this topic is very very important for exam point of view. Now, let's have a look for this topic. So guys now vertical circular motion. So in vertical circular motion as in the figure depicted, suppose a bob of mass m connected to a light string of length r, this is r actually, r is uh, given a speed u at its bottom. This is this is shown in the figure and it is given a, uh, given a speed u at its bottom and this is point a. So when a string gets turned by an angle theta, when it reaches uh, to a position let at this position, when, when, it, when it will going to reach at this position, so the bob lifts by height h. So actually we have to find out that what will be this h. So if we take consider that this is the reference line, a as the reference line. So, so we have to check it out that how much it has reached in the vertical direction or how much height it has attained in the vertical direction this we can show a seed from the figure this figure that this is the radius so if we if we say this is actually this this thing this thing is shown that this is this is h so this h will be r minus this h will comes out to be r minus r cos theta and this is equals to h is equals to r1 minus cos theta so also also if we look at the figure now in this figure again after reaching to the final position the tension if we make the free body diagram tension will be along this and mg will be along in the vertical downward direction so if we we'll take take the components of the mg this will be mg cos theta and the along the tangent it will be mg sin theta so this will be the free body diagram this, this is this is the figure shown something like this. So as the body is moving in a vertically circular motion, so therefore it there must be some force which will be towards the center, which will going to provide required amount of centripetal force. Therefore, what we can write this as this will be t minus mg cos theta. This t minus mg cos theta will going to provide the required centripetal force. So therefore, what we can write t minus mg cos theta is equals to mv square by r. Hence, we can write t is equals to mg cos theta plus mv square by r. Now, let's take this as the equation number one. Now by work energy theorem, what do we have that the work net is equals to change in kinetic energy. Now as we can see from the figure, there are only two forces which are acting that is the tension force and the mg force. So what we can write this work the net is equals to work done by the gravity plus work done by the tension. So this, this is equals to this will comes out to be change in the kinetic energy. Now.